This is the Italian Citizenship Podcast, hosted by Marco Permunian and Rafael Di Furia. Hello there, and welcome to another edition of the Italian Citizenship Podcast, presented by Italian Citizenship Assistance. Dot com. Of course, we are back at it again with Italian attorney Marco Permunian. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. And of course, I'm Rafael Di Furia. And in today's episode, we wanted to talk about renunciation of Italian citizenship. Uh, When many people are going through the process of getting Italian citizenship, they'll be familiar with a step in the process where there will be a check to see if any of your ancestors ever renounced. Of course, As we've talked about in previous episodes, this is something that would not normally happen as an active uh, decision that somebody would have made, and it could have been automatically uh, that it happened to them, but maybe we'll go into that a little bit more in this episode. But there might be situations where an individual might actually want to actively uh, renounce their Italian citizenship just because of their work or something that may have to do with whatever reason, but um, there, I know, for example, some people that I've had contact with in the past, a number of people actually have had positions in government jobs where they were not allowed to have multiple citizenships or they got Italian citizenship and for security clearance and questions of of divided allegiances and so on, uh, it was something that would have to be considered. But rather than continuing on in this introduction here, Marco, Would you maybe be able to describe for us first, before we get into actually actively renouncing Italian citizenship, could you get into what the passive renunciation of Italian citizenship looked like for many people's ancestors? I believe this is going to be a very interesting episode because I've been asked a number of times by uh, my clients, okay, I'm very interested in motivated, I want to get Italian citizenship by descent for me and my children, but what happens if they decide in the future that they don't want it anymore, so they are making the choice now to get it, but can they renounce their citizenship? And like you said, maybe we'll get into that in a second, because I think it's going to be very interesting also for people to understand better how the renunciation that you just mentioned plays out in their uh, citizenship by descent process. So when you apply for citizenship by descent, you have to prove that your ancestor was either never naturalized or that he or she became naturalized after the birth of their child. And that's because the naturalization uh, prior to 1992, when the law changed, caused the loss of Italian citizenship. So any Italian citizen who voluntarily decided to become naturalized in a foreign country. So to acquire through naturalization the citizenship of the foreign country was uh, penalized basically with the loss of Italian citizenship. So the naturalization caused automatically the loss of Italian citizenship for the ancestor who uh, petitioned to become a citizen of the foreign country. So that's it's important to um, show, to, to demonstrate um, through these naturalization records that either that happened after the birth of the next in line or that that never happened, which is also a um, scenario where the ancestor never became naturalized. And of course, we have mentioned this in many other episodes. As part of the dual citizenship process, the applicant also needs to show that none of the ascendants in the Italian line, including the applicant itself, never voluntarily renounced their Italian citizenship independently from any other naturalization, which was something that was allowed by the law, meaning the law allowed any Italian citizen residing abroad who also held another citizenship. Uh, and so that applies to all of the ascendants in the line who was were born both with Italian citizenship through descent and with U.S. citizenship by birth on U.S. territory, so the law allowed each and every one of them to formally renounce their citizenship if they wanted to. And as you said, this is something that normally never happened, but nonetheless, it's something that needs to be proven. So when you apply for citizenship by descent, the uh, consulate that processes your application or the municipality that processes your application is going to have to verify that there is no record of anyone in your Italian line 
uh, ever formally renouncing their Italian citizenship. So in summary, in order for you to be able to qualify for the Italian citizenship by descent, you need to prove A, that your ancestor either never naturalized or that he or she became naturalized after the birth of the next in line who was born in the US. Because if your ancestor became naturalized prior to the birth of the next in line, then you could not get citizenship, at least through that ancestor. So say your great-grandfather became naturalized before your grandfather was born in the US, then there would be a broken line. So there would be no transfer of citizenship from your great-grandfather to your grandfather. So your grandfather was born exclusively as a US citizen, and that's because his father already uh, gave up Italian citizenship automatically when he became naturalized in the US. So that would cause the inability for any descendant to claim Italian citizenship, at least through that ancestor. Uh, on the other hand, if the naturalization occurred after the birth of the child, then it is possible to uh, apply for citizenship by descent for the descendants. However, make no mistake, because if also the child of the ancestor who became naturalized was born in Italy, even if the naturalization occurred after the birth of the next in line, so this child that we're talking about, then any descendants would be disqualified because the child would have lost their Italian citizenship together with their parent. In other words, if both the ancestor who emigrated from Italy and their child were born in Italy, if the child was a minor when the ancestor became naturalized, then the both of them would have lost their uh, Italian citizenship, causing the inability for any descendants to qualify for Italian citizenship by descent. So in conclusion, first and foremost, you have to show when exactly you are uh, ancestor who was born in Italy became naturalized. And secondly, the consulate will have to verify that none of your ascendants in the line, including yourself, ever renounced Italian citizenship. If both of these requirements are met, then you will qualify for citizenship by descent. Even if we said it a moment ago, the voluntary renunciation uh, by the people in your Italian line normally never happen. It's something that generally never happens. It's just a formality. It's something that the consulate has to verify just because the law allows these people to renounce their citizenship if they want to. But normally, like we said, that never happened. This is all really interesting. And so, Marco, so far you've talked a lot about what the situation is for an ancestor, how that might affect an individual now trying to make a claim for Italian citizenship. But uh, what if somebody now, or maybe to know if for a future child who wants to renounce their citizenship, how would it be that they would actually go about doing that? And what would happen also after that situation? Maybe as a follow-up question, would their children lose their ability to gain Italian citizenship? Would they be able to get uh, their Italian citizenship back? I mean, there's, I'm really compounding some questions on top of each other here, not making your job any easier. But once you do get rid of it, can you get your citizenship back? Can your children get citizenship? Or do you cut off the line right there? Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I think this is going to be a very interesting topic for uh, quite a few people because I get these questions people ask me, okay, now I know I qualify for citizenship by descent. I'm ready to get it. But what happens if I change my mind in the future? What happens if my children who are now underage decide to not wanting Italian citizenship anymore in the future? Is it possible to renounce it? Uh, once you get it, you get it forever. And of course, as you said, you know, some people might want to consider renouncing Italian citizenship in the future because of job offers that they get. Uh, maybe if they want to work for the government and they have security clearance that doesn't allow dual citizenship, maybe they are concerned about um, the draft, which, like I said many times, really doesn't even exist in Italy anymore. So the military service is no longer uh, in effect for uh anyone who doesn't voluntarily want to join the military in Italy, so the draft doesn't exist anymore. But, um, but these are, of course, legitimate concerns. And uh, the answer is yes, you can renounce your Italian citizenship, and it's quite easy, and you can renounce it in, in, at any time. Uh, now, the law only uh, establishes one requirement, 
which is you need to have another citizenship. So only if you already have another citizenship, then you can renounce your Italian citizenship. In other words, it's not possible to renounce your Italian citizenship to become stateless. That is not allowed by the Italian law. But if you do have another citizenship, which is, of course, the case for the majority of our audience, uh, because they will have already their U.S. citizenship that they gained at birth or... Um, Maybe they got another citizenship in the meantime and they renounced their U.S. citizenship. But the point is, only if you hold another citizenship, then you can renounce your Italian citizenship. And the process is quite easy. You need to be a resident abroad. So you cannot do it if you reside in Italy. You need to be residing somewhere else outside of Italy. And the process is as easy as making an appointment with the Italian consulate, paying the fee, there is a 250 euros fee, and just signing a declaration where you say that you want to renounce your Italian citizenship. Now, the consequence is the loss of Italian citizenship, which is which operates immediately. So you immediately lose your Italian citizenship. And what happens if you want to get it back later on? That That is also possible. Now, I should also clarify that why it's possible to renounce your Italian citizenship, the naturalization in a foreign country, so the voluntary acquisition of a citizenship of a foreign country no longer causes the loss of Italian citizenship. So say you have your U.S. citizenship that you gained at birth, then you became a citizen of Italy by descent, and now you want to acquire a third citizenship through naturalization, Maybe you move to Australia or New Zealand or anywhere and you want to become a citizen of that country through naturalization. So by petitioning that country um, to become a citizen, you can do so. And the law after 1992 in Italy no longer uh, says that the voluntary acquisition of another citizenship causes the loss of Italian citizenship. So you can maintain uh, your Italian citizenship even when you naturalize in a foreign country. But going back to the people who decided to renounce their Italian citizenship, uh, is it possible then to gain your Italian citizenship back after you renounced it? And the answer is again, yes, the reacquisition of Italian citizenship that you lost is possible and it's fairly easy. The Italian law only requires that you relocate back to Italy for a brief time the law doesn't really specify how long the reacquisition process takes but normally it's just a matter of a few weeks a couple of months you'll have to establish residency in an italian town and so you'll need an apartment a house there but the point is you need to establish residency initiate a process through the municipality uh, that results into the reacquisition of Italian citizenship retroactively from the moment in which you established residency in the town. So even if the process may take a few weeks or a couple of months because you're going to have to show some paperwork to show that you were born with Italian citizenship, that you renounced it at some point, uh, the process will take so a number of weeks, but then you will reacquire your Italian citizenship retroactively from the moment in which you established residency in Italy. Now, you also asked me another question before, what happens if you renounce, what happens to your future children? And of course, if you renounce your Italian citizenship, then any children born after the renunciation will no longer be considered Italian citizens because you, they were born in a time after you renounced your Italian citizenship. And as we said in many other videos, in Italy, citizenship is passed from parent to child on the condition that the parent was an Italian citizen at the time of the child's birth. Well, again, Marco, thank you so much for all of this information and for making yourself available for this episode of the Italian Citizenship Podcast. But of course, if anybody is needing help to get Italian citizenship or to renounce their Italian citizenship, how can they get in contact with you and your team? People can contact us through our website, italiancitizenshipassistance.com or give us a call, our number is on the website. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. And really, again, this is such a fascinating topic. And we've focused basically every episode of the Italian Citizenship Podcast on how to get Italian citizenship. But this is the first one. This is how not to get Italian citizenship, how to get rid of it. So it's been really interesting to hear kind of the uh, the, the, the opposite, the flip side of what we normally get into. But uh, also, if you're interested in more content about how to get Italian citizenship, be sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel as well as the audio only podcast. But of course, 
If you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, that means you're also automatically subscribed to the Italian Real Estate Podcast, another project that Marco and I collaborate on where we talk about some of the practical sides of making Italy your home when it comes to purchasing, renting a home, apartment, or whatever it may be, and also where in Italy to take a look at. And if you're interested in more content about life abroad, living abroad, and living abroad as a dual citizen expat, be sure to come over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rafael Di Furia, or you can search for Not Your Average Globetrotter on YouTube, Google, or your favorite podcasting platform of choice. Of course, Mr. Marco Permunian, thank you so much for making yourself available for this episode of the Italian Citizenship Podcast presented by ItalianCitizenshipAssistance.com. I'm Rafael Di Furia. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we will see you all next time. Later. Thank you. <laughs>